Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, enemies and friends, welcome to the show that never ends. You are tuned in to On The Real After The Credits, the only weekly Walking Dead show that matters. Joining me today a, a is statement. none other than Mr. Woods and Mr. Johnson. Why don't you guys say hello? The infamous. What up, Back what in up, the house up, once again. Yes, sir. All right. Mr. Johnson. Feel, how do you feel, how'd you feel about this thing today? It was okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I don't like where Eugene is going, man. I, I'm oh, very the disappointed. Mullet, mullet man? Mullet man. He's always been on shaky ground. And, you know, I was just always hope that he would, you know, someday be the hero. But I just don't really like his cowardice. And he's just kind of staying the middle man. His, his main objective is to make sure he doesn't get killed. He doesn't care who's in charge. And he's on whatever side is the winning side at the moment. He doesn't want anybody to die, really. He don't want any, anybody to die, period. But he definitely, whatever side he, he's on, he don't want to make sure he don't die there. Mr. Woods. Yes, sir. First of all, I'm sorry, I forgot about this. Uh, what is What was the name <laughs> of this episode? We, we kind of, we, we got things going Just on. Just jumped in hot? Yeah. Coming in hot. Uh, Season 8, Episode 7, Time for After. Written by Matthew Negretti and Corey Reed. And I bring out these little written by things because um, some episodes so we know highlight... we go after when, when the episodes trash. ain't up to par. Well, I mean, hey, man, you got you to gotta learn your craft some way. So, but no, this was, this was a, in my opinion, it was a, a well-written episode. It was, it was done, a job well done. And so even though you're getting, because you're getting those character profiles with Eugene, you're finding out with... Uh, What's going on with Big Flipper over there, Rosita? You know. Oh man, that that that's I, my girl. I got she's thoughts a about Big that Flipper, bit. but we'll we'll you know jump into that. How she before she was all gung ho, and now she's just on some pacifist. But you know what? Something. Well, it's not even that. She even even that, that she explained why because she said because Sophia or whatever she died. You know what I'm saying? She had to see her coming out of the coffin to realize that sometimes you have to hold win. on. That's, but that but that out. but that was last season though. So, that was like two weeks ago, Paul. <laughs> right. But, I mean, just last week, she was, like, super upset. Or so was it even wonder. two weeks? Is it the same day? I don't know. Because I haven't seen it turn nighttime for them. I, I Tell me about Sasha. No, Rosita was, like, angry looking salty. No, no, I think he was talking about Sasha when she came out the um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came out the Is closet. this all the same day? I what? mean, it's very close. Uh, her anger, or no, her... everything that's happened. No, since... no, 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 no. They're, they're, we don't, we don't know the exact time lapse. And I do understand, I do understand where you're coming from in the sense that saying, "Hey, man, like, where is she?" Because at first I was saying, "Oh, I was rolling my eyes, saying, like, why is she?" Oh, here we go, yeah. jumping ship again, and now she's remember the show twenty four. Yeah, like how it that was everything in, real... in one day. Yeah, but, if, but they if did if that. If it doesn't turn nighttime, Bound. if it doesn't turn nighttime, how? Why are we not to assume that this is all taking place on the same you, you day? Don't no. They don't, it, they don't it, change their clothes. It, it gives them you freedom. Ask too many questions. <laughs> uh, is everybody? We don't even it know when the they bathe. Day? We don't know when they bathe. We don't know when they eat. We don't. That's not for us to know. This is just happening. Time is moving. Things are happening. When it turns nighttime, then I know for sure it's another day. Well, next episode is going to be night probably. So probably. that's so what you're thinking. Could you be know. The same day. Who knows? And you know, it's but so much you can get done in a day, but. I for what I was gonna say as far as Rosita, Big Flipper, um, she was she was coming from the mindset that we have to let's uh, carry out Rick's plan, right. and and that you know that didn't fall on me at first. I was getting annoyed, and I was saying Rosita, you know, you're talking about yeah, with Rosita, yeah. yeah. But, but when, she didn't care about Rick's plans before. She was she she, she was going right. She, yeah, she was, was, she, was, she, was she was going out there she like the Charles Bronson. She was She's the, the man one. She's the one who doing. shot out the Negan to, to get a. Remember last season? She shot the bullet. Come on, she shot yeah. the bullet into She's Lucille. She got that that you she know. killed and got uh, what you call it, Eugene Punk behind taken in the first place. Yeah, Eugene got captured after the after she shot the shot the bullet. So she's absolutely to blame for these things, but. Again, I don't listen. I don't agree with her having this flip. Like I said, she's big flipper, but I Everybody didn't realize is a that big flipper. They're, Everybody does that. Right, but they're 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 understanding that hey, let's carry out um this guy's plan, Rick's plan first about waiting. And so that's where it comes cuz I was saying why are they saying I needed because to see it for myself because he told them to fall back so they can take first, care of their wounds. Yeah. At know? first, what it is is that they were on some 
they weren't doing anything and they felt like Rick wasn't going to do nothing. He was just going to cower. Right. And so it was just like, what do you mean? Like, that's not what we're about, like cowering to nobody. Right. But now it's like with Rick's plan, Rick's plan has been working. It's so been why, working. Why, you know what I'm saying? Why go against it, right? Except for the L. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, they wait, took an L wait, with wait. The, the kingdom people. So, But you know who, who's changing plan, that plan, though? It's uh, the Heapsters? Daryl. You think the Heapsters going to stab him in the back again? The garbage mouth people? Absolutely. Hell yeah. They should stab him in the back again. You saw they was already looking at each other. Dirty when, sex When group. he came there and saw everybody. What, okay, we, I guess we can get to that later because I want to know what Bouncing happened around. and where those zombies went. Uh, when he got back to to the saviors, but let's just can let's we just back it up, can man. we take a moment and just respect the grime time? Or the I told you, man, now? I told you when it's grime time, that's it. Forget grime time. She wants the Rick stick still. She told him uh, hashtags out tonight. The Rick, yeah. the Rick stick. She wants it. She wants that old thing back. She told him, "I'm gonna sculpt you naked." She's like, he's like, no. No, no, Nick, I want my boots. <laughs> he said, I want my boots and I want my shirt. It's like Michonne has a katana. <laughs> this is Michonne's stick, okay? This is Michonne's red stick. I will have none of your tomfoolery or hanky panky. Yo, even tied up, he still handled his business. Oh, man. I mean, she clearly should have shot him, though. Let's, let's... Well, we he handled his business the with the red stick. He grabbed the stick and was. He did have a stick in his yeah. So, okay. I mean, that, so, that's nothing now, wrong with now, Wow, that was the Rick stick. I, I see, it was I see what you did there. That's that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, so let me so let me ask you a question. Um, why do you think Eugene, when he had the opportunity, why do you think he didn't snitch? Is it just because he's soft Dwight? and he couldn't look Dwight in the eye, so he would have snitched until Dwight gave him the shame? Look? He is he is non confrontational, and he's like, holy crap. It could go south if I say that. He's going to be like, he's lying. And then he'd be in confrontation. Eugene is very non-confrontational. That's why he went back to his room and got stupid drunk. And now he's going to become an alcoholic. Yeah, I think, he, I think he, I agree with you that it, it, he is non-confrontational. And also, it's a matter he would, of if, he's if, dealing with a heavy burden of if, saying, is this the Dwight right decision? If Dwight come in there right then and there, he was going to tell him. He had, yeah, he, okay. had the, he had the confidence, and then as soon as Dwight came in there. Because he was there like, I'm so Negan, I'm more Negan than Negan right now. Like, but, I'm 100,000% Negan. Like, he went up to Father Gabriel, he was like, F y'all, F every Rick and all of them. I'm, I'm here. I'm going to make sure I survive this. I'm not getting involved in none of y'all stuff. Well, right. that's after right. he saw the so, horrors so. of the truck coming in and all of those walkers pouring exactly. into the compound. And, that's, that's and then the, that just enraged him, saying like, whoa, you know, what kind of plan is this? That's the thing, though, because it's like every these guys trust. And I want to know how Dwight feels about this, right? Because, hold on, he let, like, as far as they know, Rick let those walkers in yeah. to just kill everybody, civilians and everybody. Yeah. And that's from, from, from Dwight's point of view and from Eugene's point right. of view. Like, oh, we, these dudes are just as bad, so I might as well stay where I'm at. But my question to you is, do you... Both of you or everybody out here watching this thing right now, are we are we uh, team team Dwight right now? Now I'm, I'm, I'm on team record saying I'm on In record saying I don't trust his face. Right, but he sounds like he's down for the cause. Put the camera on me. I'm all right with Dwight. Okay, he's all right with Dwight. I'm all right with Dwight. Dwight's a good guy, man. He's an animal. Dwight, I mean, Dwight wasn't never that bad. Du Dwight is a victim of circumstance, my man. It's nah, just like Dwight, du Dwight's a bad man. Didn't Dwight put that arrow in? Uh, I forget did. a name. Definitely shot Daryl after no, Daryl no. helped him out. Helped him out. His his wife and, and he no, the girl with the glasses. He's just I mad forgot his, his name. wife left him. Dwight. That's 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 how I feel about it. So now it's F nigga. Yeah, but again, that. again, I got. I cannot lie. I kind of feel like. Um, so you don't feel like Dwight I, I is with know. us. I, I'm. I'm but you here's the thing. You're not team Dwight? No, no, but if things change, right, will Dwight will Dwight switch up again? Well, here's how I look at the it, The old right? switcher rule? Yeah, like, will he just be like, oh, well, because he's only like, because Rick is winning while he's with him. That's what he said. This is this is what made this episode dope, right? Well, there's a number of reasons, but this is what made that episode dope. Because there was, was more, more, there was more clarity in understanding what Rick's plan truly was. To, to have the uh, saviors bunkered in, they can't survive. No food, 
you know, water, things like that. Everything running out. Everything out runs out. And, and Dwight said it. He said, listen, a lot of people can live. All he wants is Negan. Just, just Negan. That's it. Right? And, and he said, if we do nothing, we stand pat. Negan goes out. You know, people get angry. We send Negan out. Uh, this guy, Rick, kills Negan. Everybody's gone. Everybody, everything is done. So now Dwight has a reason, just like how this guy reacted, Josh McDermott. Um, not uh, what's his uh, Eugene? Mm-hmm. Eugene's, you know, reacted and getting so frustrated because all those walkers pouring in. That wasn't a part of the plan. But to Dwight's knowledge, wait a second, you you said that all you wanted was Negan. Now you're sending in walkers to kill all of us, civilians. Civilians right. and everybody. Yes, that's one thing, and and again, this kind of highlights. It kind of highlights what, uh, it, even though I don't agree with him, what Jesus was talking about. Uh, and we were. I know I was. What are we fighting for? Right. I know I was like, <coughs> oh, you should just kill all of them. I, I was. I right. was. Teaching. They should super kill every single one of them saviors that they have inside the thing. Even the civilians. The saviors that they caught that they have inside the walls kill every single one of them. I mean, you definitely got to kill the dude with the long hair. The long hair, hair right? super got to kill he, him. He, he got to die. Oh, oh, you talking about up at the hill? Yes. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you got to watch them twenty four seven, and this dude, especially with the the, the the former governor in there, what's his name? Uh, uh, what's this guy? The the punk. Dude? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it, his name escapes me because yeah, he's yeah, such a douchebag. Douchebag do McGee. Douchebag. <laughs> well, douchebag McGee is in That's there. That's definitely douchebag McGee. With the long haired scum bucket. And them name. two are going to get in cahoots and then lead the revolt to try to kill everybody Gregory. in their sleep. Gregory. Gregory yeah. There you go. But I like Douchebag McGee better. Xander oh, Berkeley. No, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, can't, I, cannot, I cannot lie about that. A shout out to but Xander they, Berkeley. But all of them need to die. Yeah. All of those people need to die. Yes, yes. But no, you could see how they're going to get pissed off now after seeing this. And you're going to say, and remember, Negan said Rick's going to get a lot of people killed. Right. And it... Makes it look like Rick people, is getting a lot, a lot of people, lot of people, people killed. Got killed. That's not actually Daryl got a lot of people killed. Uh, yeah. Just like he got um, Glenn killed. I'm just putting it out there. I said it. Uh, Yo, it's gonna be a big. Uh, I said it. It's gonna be a big to do next week with Daryl and. Uh, uh, oh, there is. Oh my God. Do you see Hell because because did he didn't follow the. Plan. No, the Everything fact that you heard. Done. Did you hear the music that they played at the end and the look of pissed off ossity in Rick's face? And look. Here's the thing. How it's just like, the rage. <laughs> That's how yo, it's like, I'm gonna, it yo. Was balling the up anger, yeah. the rage, the powerlessness. Yo, he's going to go That's full genius. retard, yo. Full retard on Daryl when but, he sees and, and here's the other thing, and I want to come back to that because Brilliant. remember how Like, it ain't going to be no brotherly fight like I'm going to choke you out oh, or whatever no, no, the hell. No, no. no. it's going to be two blows, like bloody fight. Or guns. Yeah. Um... It, so I do want to come back to that though because you remember in the very the opener the season premiere right. of this thing. Now Rick, they kept going. There's two flashbacks or flash forward. There's one flashback, one flash. Yeah, I was going to leave the group saw... and become the leader of the garbage mouth. <laughs> Jeez, no, but we saw uh, we saw I can old, see it. we saw old man Rick waking up now. with the cane and everything. All the garbage. Um, and with Michonne and his happy ending or whatever, I get used right? To this. But they switched to the other Rick with like tears in his eyes or eyes about to well up, and they kept going back and forth between those two. You're talking about old man Rick and uh, yeah, right, right. So what I'm thinking is that is what we're we're getting to. That look of pissed offness is in his face. Right. If Negan's gone, they're going to the hilltop and to Alexandria, and I mean I don't know what's at the kingdom now. But they're going there, and they're going to kill a lot of people, Yep. right? And Rick is going to come back knowing that that's what he had to do. So I think that that's what we're we're getting to for next week's episode. So, so you okay? So you're, one segment you're getting to is the when he's sitting there and his eyes is swelled up with water and all this right, other stuff, right? Right. And tears, water. But yeah, okay. I don't know. I as I said, I I was thinking. I remember I said on the in the beginning in the premiere that we did. That maybe it's uh, tears of joy because it's no, over, and then no I said something. Joy, no, buddy. like the third you, episode you in, wrong. the third episode in, it clicked to me. I said, I "Yo, that probably. might be like somebody's cooked. You no. know, somebody's done. People are cooked. Yeah. It's a group deal." I said, "What if that was Michonne or something like that? You know what I mean? I, I, I mean, mean, he's really ripped I, up. It's not gonna be. 
I mean, somebody's finished next week. As, somebody's as absolutely something crazy is gonna happen because they said absolutely we're gonna be talking about it. So somebody's gonna die. Heads are gonna roll. You don't think that was just promo? How do you feel no, no, about no, no, that no. though? Because I kind of feel like that was like it's watch the no... next week's episode yeah, to find like, out that like you're gonna marketing. talk about it. Right, yeah, for a long like, time until we come, come back. On, that that kind of and then you're gonna talk about that too. That is is eerily reminiscent of the hey, let's not tell you what happened to Glenn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who did Negan kill? Sponsored by Geico. <laughs> just like, <laughs> but here's the whole thing though. By Geico. We yeah. knew it was gonna be Glenn, but we did not know it was gonna be Abraham. That was to throw you off shit. Right, right, right. And the fact is, that they couldn't even change it beyond that. They could; it still could have been anybody because no, they no, shot. That, they shot that. it where they killed everybody. Well, and they I, shot. I, didn't they do it where shot, Abraham was first, right? And we was like, "Wait, hold up." Yeah, Abraham. I think it was Abraham who got hit first, and then they went to Glenn, and we was no, like, and Darryl, then they switched it. Daryl snuffed him after yeah. he killed him, and then he killed Glenn. Yep. So it was just like Glenn could have still walked, right? But we didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like that's to throw you off. And now we're but looking even at still a, then he could have. They could have chose to kill anybody else. It could have. It, the, the book and the, and, and, and the show is two different things. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I kind of just feel like um, I, I get weary about stuff like that because it's like, hey, uh, tune in next week. We wrote something specifically in the story. That's, and I get, I get it. I know it's a TV show, but like, it just feels more like I'm trying to sell you something. And I get it. I know that's what it's nah, going Nah, but a lot of stuff could happen, bro, because we don't Oh, no, know. I'm excited. We I, don't know what I, from the book. I, it could be Rick loses a hand. It could be, uh, you know what I'm saying, Michonne gets killed. It could be uh, Ezekiel gets killed. It could be the, that... The uh, garbage mouth people could get killed. The garbage mouth people get killed. It could please, be that these please, people come in, the, please, the what you call it, uh, please, please the whispers. Stop, give, hold on, I'm sorry. Please the whispers stop, could come in. This... Just let Rick kill or the w. garbage mouth lady. Just please. That's nah, the whisper is Will Jadis make a sculpture of Rick? Uh, Hashtag Rick stick. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so... It'd be um, funny if she makes a statue and it's only the stick and you blur it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. But, but um, I think that this was a great setup for the mid-season finale. And again, uh, this is it was, this, this job was, well done. This, this was Walking Dead at you know what you watch it for. Absolutely, right? yep. Um, so and it's most all rightness. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that said, what are the predictions for next week? Let's go around around the the, the triangle. Already, I all think right, we already uh, gave predictions. No, 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 not really. Tell me what you think. How's how's this mid season finale going to play out? I told you, it's going to be a surprise. Somebody gonna die. Who? It's Who gonna do you be. Think I already, gonna die? Here's the things that I already said. I'm gonna reiterate them since we obviously don't listen. Uh, Daryl and Rick are gonna fight. Big ass showdown. Gonna be blood, knuckle, bare knuckle fight. Rick is pissed. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, what you call it? Rick somebody, say, are we done? Somebody's gonna get captured or killed. Somebody. Who? We don't know who. We don't know who. Who do you think? Who do I think? I know. If that, you can throw a guess out there. All right. I got a question for you. I, I think that uh, both Negan and um, Rick are going to lose people. Who's Negan going to lose? Who's Rick going to lose? Does Dwight make it out of this thing alive? Does Eugene make it out of this thing alive? I'm going to go yes. Because he's, he's, he's a weasel. Eugene makes it. Do. Dwight makes it. That's what I think. So um, on Rick's side, I think is... Ezekiel's time up yet? No. So on, I'd say someone like Rosita might get cooked or something like that. But if, yeah, if, but if they're saying is that something that's like a talking, big, they said it's gonna be well, everybody if, talking. if everybody's going to be talking, it's got to be a fracture. Got to be. It got to be a main. Unless the whole thing everybody's talking it's about is hey, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, kill Morgan because we already telegraphed that he's gonna go to. The walking dead. No, but he said he's coming back to. He can't be killed if, and they said that he, he still I mean, has a, a, he said a part to play in, in in season eight. Yeah, they said he still has a part. And yeah. uh, tomorrow's episode, uh, next week's episode, that's his part. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be interesting. But no, I, I I can't see. I'm I'm trying to think from the group. And the first who would they uh, place merge? before or after? Before it takes place, like right at the beginning. But how does that work if he's in Georgia? Wait, listen. I, I, this, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, okay. Is he so, gonna grow his hair back to get like a slight little natural? Yeah, get that natural. All right. Do you think Carol might die? Carol, um, Carol no, could die. I don't think. I don't Car- think Carol. Carol dying being the thing that gets Ezekiel back on his feet, only to die uh, three episodes in in the B side of a uh, uh, season eight. Maybe. Man, I, don't I know. think it's Michonne. Or freaking. Well, Russia so Boy. so if I'm Michelle, looking, Michelle like, didn't outside, have enough this season though. Yeah, but it doesn't. She could it just be matter. done, right? Because she she's doing. She's she got in too the much. MCU. Man, she's, she's in, in the Avengers. She's Avenger. She Black was frontline. She definitely seven. had jet lag while she was in that truck. Oh, like yeah. she was she's just like, thinking nah. about Wakanda but here's and the no, giraffes. I, I guarantee you, this season she only had one day of shooting because it's like that's all. I'm gonna just sit in the truck. But I'm gonna sit back and wait for y'all to go. Right, or whatever. Right. She had <laughs> one day of shooting. That's all y'all got me. You know, I got too moving. much stuff going on. I'm shooting the Tupac movie. I'm shooting uh, Avengers and, and uh, yeah. Black Panther. Like I don't got time for this. No, no, but you I know, got a real job. You know that she. Um, they I'm just. I'm just. The you know. the Marvel. A lot where they film these things is in Atlanta, and so yeah. is uh, The Walking Dead. So they, it's like she could literally just go across the street. One, I don't know if it's yeah. across the street, but she could. Yeah, but I guarantee you, they only shot with her for like one day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're doing Avengers, and she's probably in Avengers Four, so she she's the, booked. From uh, Negan's group, the girl with the tattoo on her neck, she's she's out. Oh yeah, yeah, the girl. With, I just call her the girl with the dragon tattoo. Um, yeah. So I, other than that, she's like. Maggie and Negan, y'all got little DC cameos and movies that's flopping. <laughs> and I'm in the damn Avengers. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah, he just throws them, man. Come <laughs> on, man. Just throws them. But no, I, I don't know. I don't know uh, what's going to happen. Uh, I know somebody's got to die. Somebody's gotta if die. I go, you got to go. Well, Somebody here's the got thing, to Michelle's die. Michelle's not going to die because she was in the old man Rick dream. That's dream. a dream, though. So. If, dream. Right, that's 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 if it was a dream. Okay. Um, What's your prediction? So prediction. This up. Well, firstly, I just want to say that um, I was a big fan of this episode. Okay. Um, not my favorite episode this season, but it might be, you know, number two or three. Right. Um, and I think that next week, um, the garbage mouth people are going to betray Rick. Scavengers, man. Garbage mouth. Okay. Um, I think that Dwight, uh, as soon as he sees that Rick is, I don't think Dwight has it in to sacrifice himself. Um, so I think that if he sees that, um, he's going to start working the back again. Yes, absolutely. I think if he sees that Negan has the upper hand, right. that he will be back on Team Negan, which is why I don't trust his face. So um, why would Negan trust him again if he was the one fucking them and got him? Oops. He doesn't know that, though. Please. Negan doesn't know that. Please. Sorry about sorry, part uh, of my French. Chess is in the pool. He, he yeah. doesn't know about that, though. Negan doesn't know about it. That's why I said, but on to your point, Dwight making that decision is seeing, you know, how savage Rick is. It's looking like Rick didn't hold up his end of the bargain. And he's right. saying, wait, whoa, are you sending all these people in to kill all of us? You know what yeah. I mean? Forget this. That's that what I'm kind saying. Of thing. He, he could switch back, but I, I don't trust him. Now, and that again, I want to know if if Daryl, because like if they're all gone, and Daryl went there to go and do that work, right. him and Morgan and um, Cap- Tara, 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 Tara. Yeah. So if if they went to go and do all of that, and now all the zombies are gone, and they went there like it's a suicide mission, are they dead? Right? No, so cool. that means you went there, you ruined the plan, and then you ran away. <laughs> no, no, no I, just, just think about that for a second. Maybe you, that's the whole shocker. The whole plan, and then you ran like. When like, things got crazy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe that's the shocker. Rick exiles uh, Daryl, Tara, and uh, Morgan. Mmm. That, that I like that. That's that yeah. I like that. That's the shocker. Up. He's going to exile them. It's just like, you put this in jeopardy. You killed people who didn't need to be killed. And now, because of that, Negan got away. You Get all exiled. Get off my boat. Get off what, my I mean, what, if he does work? what if they got so many people killed that Rick is like, yo, uh, I, I got to do, I gotta do uh, a Ned Stark. You got to be you gotta be executed for leaving the nice wife. Right. Rick ain't going to execute. He's not going to execute, but, but he will definitely like, tell him to get out of here. It's just like how they, they have put out Carol. If before. he did it to Carol, he's got to do he's it to them. Yeah, that's what the way it's gotta be. 
It's just like I love you. But That's a good one. Get... Now let me ask you a question. That's a good what one. if they wrap up this whole what you call it? This is this is another thing. Okay, I'm posing this out there. I don't know if this would be what happened, but if it did happen, I would take my hat off to the Walking Dead and said, you know what, you did it again. What if they wrap up? This temporarily wrapped up Negan thing, which means they beat Negan's people and Negan got to go on the run. He's not dead. So Negan's not in the picture. Okay. But the real thing for the rest of the season is this rift between Daryl. Talking about for Darryl, the B side. For the B side. Uh-huh. It's the rift between Daryl and Rick. And Daryl got a bunch of people. It's like, yo, Rick is soft now. We got to kill them all. Who's with me? And now you got to deal with. We got to kill what? Um. You gotta go after all of them. Negan. So, so basically, um, Daryl and crew is Daryl becomes the villain for the B side of the season. But is he going after Rick's group? Not Rick's group. I right. mean, if you want to stop us, we gotta go at you. Right, but they're on a mission to just end then all we gotta of this. End, we gotta end it all, and that's that's the that's the war now between Daryl's crew. And what you call it? I don't know if the Walking Dead's going to do that. But if, if they, they do that, it, woo. if they did it, I would be like, yo, you back, baby. That's crazy. <laughs> because nobody would see that coming. That is, Daryl becoming the villain. You're going to sit there and look at Walking Dead like, baby, you know I was never going to leave you. You know, you know, you know, know. That's why I love like, that. To do the turn and Daryl is not a villain, that'd be crazy. I was just I, out here playing. Because that baby. would make it so much more interesting now. Like, holy crap. Nah, man. They they would have all. I mean, they get my attention anyway, but they, I would. I would. I would. Man. They grandfathered in your attention, it. but they do that. You're like, you know what, baby? I mean, you know, relax your feet. It's been a long yeah, day. Yeah, man. <laughs> Maybe you nah. wasn't even whack. Yeah, you wasn't even so, whack. So, no, but now, I... Now, that's interesting, too. But and again, I... The bar might be right yeah, with and that. Yeah, again, uh, we are going to... That's, like, that's like just some crazy stuff, but I think that my thing is more feasible about what's going to happen. This is... But, see, again, and we... I just want to make an announcement now. We are in the works of starting another On The Real show where it's On The Real, we fix it. So yeah. we are going to fix Pitch the ideas. movies and uh, TV shows that we love to hate. So we will pitch our own versions of TV shows and movies and see how we can uh, make it better than the guys who get paid all the money to do it. So. And then maybe we can get paid some money to do it. Or not, <laughs> but uh, that's what we're going to do. All mm-hmm. right, any any final thoughts? Because it's time to wrap this. Thing. we got to bring this thing home. No, sir. Wrap it up, B. All Let's right. see what we got. It was a great episode, man. This was pretty good. Same bad time, well same written. Bad channel. All right, all right. Mr. Well Woods, tell them where they can find you. Why Woods, why not on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff across the board. Or... Uh, whywoodswhynot.com to catch some of my anecdotes, thoughts, photos, and such. And All such. Things. Yep. Mr. Johnson. A- aside from the particulars, where can the you find period, it? period, do, period, abides with a Z on the Instagrams. On the grams. On the grams. That's, that's and, uh, where you can find me. You can find him at Marty McFly on I Twitter where he won't respond to you because he doesn't love you like I do. Uh, and Steve hates Snapchat. We all know. Hey, and me, your Stealing friendly his neighborhood host, Steve Johnson. You can find me at Steve A.M. Johnson on your favorite social network as long as it's not Snapchat. Okay. Um, but Don't hit me with the old oh, particular stuff. Right. So. That, that said, um, I just want to say that if you are watching this, just please take a moment to like and subscribe yes, and check yes, out yes. our other shows. It costs shows. you nothing. We, it, it does cost you nothing. Uh, pay us a little bit of mind, though. Hey, it's a little support. Man. But, um, yeah, you can we check out the politics show. You can check it out. It's called The Second Page. That comes on every Saturday. You know, we're here every Sunday for this. We've got our news show coming up on The Real News. And there are some other things in the works. A couple and of things in the works. Uh, we, we are, are out.